Hello and welcome to Noonday Prayer on this day, the Feast of the Annunciation. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At this time, I would like for us to say together the Magnificat, which you can find uh, on the screen and you can follow along with us if you like. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has shown mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our forefathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. <clears throat> in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Today is the celebration of the Feast of the Annunciation, the day that Gabriel announced to Mary that she would be filled with the Holy Spirit conceive in her womb and bear a son whom she will name Jesus. Moreover, he will be the son of the most high God. Mary comes to realize that she is not only carrying a growing human life, but she is also carrying the infinite love, the Holy One. She will be the God bearer or Theotokos as she will later be called in the church. I think of how we're all called to be ones who bear God into the world. We're called to bear God's love to places of loneliness, suffering, hurt. During this period of Lent, we recall the suffering of the past year during this pandemic. But just as Mary bears hope and life into the world of our Savior by giving birth to Jesus Christ, our Savior, so we are also experiencing hope amid a pandemic. But let us not forget that many people continue to suffer in our world from the viral pandemic in places that do not have resources to distribute a vaccine, in places that are war-torn 
or many are undergoing economic devastation. Our opportunities to bear hope into the world never end. And in this way, God continues to work through us so that God's love continues to expand and is never ending. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you sent your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will. So comfort us in all our afflictions to defend us from all error and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pour your grace into our hearts, O God, that we who have known the incarnation of your only begotten one, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to Mary, may by the cross and passion be brought to the glory of the resurrection. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.